Um, and I have one goal, good schools. We need all of our schools to be good schools and strengthen our communities. And my wife and I have two kids, a uh, boy and a girl, first and third grade. Um, they're at North Chatham. Uh, we're real happy about uh, North Chatham, uh, except for there's a lot of overcrowding. Um, the, uh, they ran out of room in the back to put the trailer, so we're putting them out front. If you go by Lister Road, you'll see them. Um, if you talk to parents, there is a lot of frustration about schools and uh, overcrowding. The uh, test scores uh, went down last year, uh, and they should be going up. Um, but there is a movement in this county, especially in the, in the Northeast, where, where I'm from. Uh, there's a movement, a grassroots movement, to make our schools stronger and fix some of these problems. Uh, and there's actually two organizations. One is Chatham Schools Now, and the other is Good Schools. And I'm one of the founders of Good Schools. And we, we've been uh, talking to uh, the superintendent, been talking to principals, Board of Education members, county commissioners, and uh, we're trying to, you know, get some schools built, uh, renovate some schools, and improve, improve uh, academics. Um, so I am very optimistic uh, in this county, and uh, we do have some funds to build some schools. Uh, we've got high school that's due, a uh, Northeast High School due in 2011 and the middle school due in 2010 at Briar Chapel. Um, so, so what do we need to do? So number one, we need strong community schools. So a community school is located where the kids are. You know, it's not a two-hour bus ride away. And then we need uh, quality education. And what is, uh, you know, the biggest factor for educating a child in a classroom. And it's not the latest uh, initiative or program. The biggest factor in a classroom is the teacher. You know, good teachers make great students. And a lot of our teachers are moving uh, outside of our county um, because we we're surrounded by counties that pay more. So it's one of the critical issues in this, in this county. And the, uh, the third thing we need is Solid leadership. You know, it takes, it takes, it surprised me to learn that it takes 10 years to fund and build a school in this county. Uh, the reason why it takes 10 years is once you say, you know, we really need a school, you have to get in line behind, you know, the parks that are already in the pipeline and the jail that you need to expand and the business park that you need to build and, uh, you know, you sort of socialize it, and about five, after five years, they finally allocate the funds, and then you wait a couple more years, and then it takes three years to build a high school. So, so your leadership and your planning are critical, and they have to be really solid in order to stay ahead of the, uh, the population that we know has been coming to this area. Um, so, so why vote for me? So I have a, a computer science degree, a master's in computer science. Um, I'm a director of software at a telecom startup in Research Triangle Park. And I make my living delivering what people want, when they want it, and for a reasonable price. And I like bringing people together to talk about uh, the real issues and, and to come up with real solutions. And um, there is, uh, this is actually a historic race Board of Education in Chatham this year. Uh, never before have we had these grassroots organizations that are backing candidates and picking candidates. Um, typically, you don't know a lot about the candidates except for what they say, and then sometimes what they say and what they do don't line up exactly with what you thought. Um, so, uh, of course, I'm uh, one of the founders of Good Schools, so we're backing me. And uh, the other one we're backing is Peter Rubinus, if you could stand up, uh, for District 2. So there's uh, 
as a racing district one and a racing district two. Um, so again, my name is Flint O'Brien, and I really need your vote. I think uh, there's a lot of opportunities to improve uh, schools, and uh, we need to get going. Thank you. Thank you.